Hi everybody, this is Rick here at Digital Fortress. I'm doing a live stream of the live stream from NASA with the SpaceX launch. I think people who are um, holders of Cardano or associated with Cardano need to get familiar with uh, what it's like to launch things and see rockets go up into space because that's what's happening with Cardano right now and will be happen happening all summer, all the way up through August 18th. Uh, hello, Christian LFO. Good to see you here. And uh, I just put this live stream of a live stream up. It's kind of a recursive live stream. In case anybody was interested, in case you weren't watching the live stream, you can check it out. You'll see on both NASA and SpaceX, they are both live streaming. I'm going to try not to talk over the audio, the folks with the uh, audio. Um, I'm going to bring the audio up and see how the audio goes. And I was going to get a little bit of practice doing live streams of live streams here. And let me see from how we're doing. We are three minutes from liftoff, three minutes and 50 seconds and counting. Displays. They have insight directly into Dragon and the Falcon 9. They're able to see where their fuel loading is at, how everything's progressing down with the count. AFTS final setup started. T minus three minutes and counting. Three and a half minutes from launch. Three and a half minutes from launch. Strong back is now reclining away from the Falcon 9. This launch is significant because it's the first launch from U.S. soil in about 10 years, even though uh, people landed on the moon in 1969. Um, this, it's been a while since a launch like this. But what also makes it significant, it's done by a completely commercial, uh, mostly commercial uh, SpaceX, as opposed to uh, government resources. It's mostly commercial, paid for by uh, taxpayers, etc. Dragon has transitioned through terminal count and is on internal power. Stage one, locks load close out. Okay, we're T minus two minutes, 42 seconds. Stage one, locks load is closed out. Stage two will continue to load for about another half a minute or so. Once we get the completion of stage two locks loading, we have to vent down the line so you'll see another large white cloud coming off of the strong back. That'll be normal. That'll happen Angle around transitioning to T minus power. one minute and 40 seconds. We're going on internal power now. Just a few seconds away from the stage two locks load being complete. It's been almost nine years since we've been in this position. A lot of work done by thousands of people to get to this point. All our eyes focus on two now. Stage two, lock flow is closed out. Propellant fills are complete. Dragon is an auto idle. Stage two, lock load complete. Astronauts also, Bob Bacon. Guys are on Falcon 9. One minute and 34 seconds to go till launch. Here we have astronauts Bob Bacon and Doug Hurley on board, and they have control of the rocket. I really like the new spacesuits. I just got to say, they look very Star Trek like, and y'all know I'm a Star Trek fan. <laughs> very high tech looking. I show T minus one minute. Uh, we're probably less than a minute due to the delay. Falcon 9 is in startup. Dragon is in countdown. FTS is armed for launch. Under a minute now, the FTS, the flight termination system, has been armed. Can you guys hear the audio okay? Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. We go for launch. SpaceX, Dragon. We got Let's thumbs up. Launch. Let's light this candle. Cardano folks, y'all got to get used to this. We're going to be launching rockets. Seconds. Hey, Chris, Jack's Crypto. How you doing, guys? Stage one tanks pressing for flight. T-minus 15 seconds. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Liftoff of the Falcon 9 and Cree Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed. Spot and Doug. America has launched. 
so rises a new era of American space flight, and with it the ambitions of a new generation continuing the dream. There we go, Bob Benkin, Doug Hurley, liftoff on the Falcon Crew Dragon in the air. T-plus 30 seconds into this historic mission. Flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9, and look at them go. 600 miles an hour, let's see how fast they go. Kilometers per hour. We're throttling down to get ready for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. We're in the throttle bucket. Reports say all systems are go. Vehicle is supersonic. We've exceeded Mach 1 on the Falcon 9. We're at Mach 1. Right now we got the uh, Cardano Pioneers at Mach 24.2. A low Earth orbit Price velocity. Back up to full power as we're through one Max Q. Copy one Bravo. And we heard that one Bravo call out. That's just the second abort zone that they're in. They'll continue to be on this until the first stage has done its job and they switch over to the second. At this point, look at that control Bravo panel. Pulling about 2.3 G's, 2.3 times the Earth's gravity, already moving at over 1,500 miles per hour. We've heard the call out for MVAC engine chill. That's getting the MVAC engine ready to light. That'll come at about 2.44 into flight. Right now, everything continuing to look good. Next major event coming up is going to be the triple. We'll have main engine cutoff of the nine first stage engines, stage separation, and then ignition of the second stage engine to continue to carry astronauts into orbit. Coming up in about 20 seconds. M1D throttle down. We heard we're throttling down the Merlin engines on the first stage. Now they're 6,000 kilometers. And we have Miko. Miko. Falcon stage separation confirmed. Here we go. Falcon 2 Alpha. All right, we have stage separation confirmed. The first stage beginning its flight back. The second stage being powered by that single Merlin 1D vacuum engine has ignited and is now carrying Bob and Doug into orbit. So they're going to continue under the power of this second stage. Stage propulsion is nominal which will cut off at SECO, or second engine cut off, at about 8 minutes and 44 seconds into today's flight. So a little over 5 minutes to go still on this second stage. You heard the call out to Alpha, so they're now in the longest abort zone that carries them all the way from about North Carolina up the eastern seaboard almost to Canada. Things looking good, though, getting good call outs, nominal propul pul propulsion on that second stage. Bob and Doug continuing to make their way into orbit. Dragon SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Acquisition of signal in Bermuda. SpaceX Dragon, nominal trajectory. All right, here in nominal trajectory, the so Dragon pointed in the right direction, continuing to make their flight uphill. Heard acquisition of signal in Bermuda. That's one of the other ground stations that they're using to get telemetry and data back from this spacecraft. Stage two propulsion is still nominal. four minutes 40 seconds into the flight bob and doug flying at more than 5600 miles Dragon per SpaceX hour nominal trajectory already almost 200 miles down range from the kennedy space center nominal trajectory continuing got on 10,000 kilometers per hour 
And 10,000. And while they continue uphill, it looks like we are getting a view of the first stage as well. Yep, on your right screen, you can see that first stage with the grid fins deployed. It's making its way back to attempt to land on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you today. And we're just about a minute, uh, a couple minutes away from the entry burn, and that's where three of the nine Merlin engines do ignite to help slow the vehicle down as it re-enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. And then after the entry burn will be the landing burn, which is just a single engine. Dragon SpaceX burn. nominal trajectory. And you heard nominal starting chill for entry burn. Is that call out? They are still on a nominal trajectory on Dragon, still on second stage, and that's that MVAC engine on second stage on your left screen. Again, on your right screen is that first stage booster coming back towards our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. We're about a minute away from entry burn. Meanwhile, that second stage continuing to power Dragon into orbit. Again, if you're keeping an eye on that timer, that's going to continue to burn until 8 minutes and 44 seconds into flight. So a little over two minutes from now, we'll hear the call out Seco. It'll then be a little stage under, two a little is still over. good. A little over three minutes until Dragon physically separates from the second stage of the Falcon 9 after the upper Dragon stage gets SpaceX a chance. Nominal trajectory. Dragon copies, nominal trajectory. Continuing to check in with Bob and Doug as they are on a nominal trajectory. Just about 10 seconds away from that first stage, starting that entry burn on your right screen. We should be able to see that view live. Stage one entry burn startup. And there is that entry burn Focus beginning. This burn lasts about 36 seconds long. Stage two FTS is saved. burn continues we're just about a minute away from seco we'll have a number of events all happen in rapid succession uh, it'll be the second engine cut off stage one we'll be looking for down. that uh, stage one approaching 20,000 20,000 kilometers yeah, actually just within a few seconds of each other such a cool view on your left screen seeing bob and doug on dragon Right now you can see the displays that they are seeing right now themselves. Terminal guidance. And back there all set. We are coming up 25 seconds or so away from Seco or second engine cutoff. This is also the point where Bob and Doug are experiencing their highest G-force. We're seeing the counter tick up to right about 1.8. Copy Shannon. You heard Shannon, so that just means they're in their final abort zones. If they were to abort at this point, would either be in abort to orbit or to land off the coast of Ireland. Standing by for second one line of off confirmation. Head back there, all step. Head back, shut down. Stage one line alert. Confirmation of Seco's second engine cutoff. Now we are waiting for our first stage to make its way to our drone ship. Of course, I still love Dragon you. Dragon SpaceX nominal orbital insertion. Launch escape system is nominal orbital insertion. Nominal orbital insertion. What you're seeing on your screen is a live view of our drone ship, where our first stage will be coming down. Looks like we lost that live view, but we'll wait for confirmation of that landing shortly here. Falcon 9 first stage successfully landed. And there you can see on your screen, Falcon 9 has landed. This is the first Falcon 9 to carry humans to orbit, so very exciting for us. And as you can see on your right screen, Bob and Doug are still making their way to their targeted orbit. Someone need a recovery one. So exciting today. <laughs> doesn't stop it does not stop all right we did we did hear again that call out good orbital insertion so that means falcon 9 and dragon right now exactly where they're supposed to be 
penalty to FRC, Enric, everyone. And it's right at about 12 minutes. <laughs> of our Dragon will separate. <laughs> Looks like we saw a zero G indicator floating around there. I know Bob and Doug owe us a little bit about what exactly that is that they brought up with them. <laughs> And before separation, before Dragon initiates separation from the second stage, they do make sure to make, they, they do ensure that the vehicle is not spinning and it is in good condi condition before we separate. That's right, the upper stage does small attitude maneuver using cold gas thrusters built into the rocket body itself. They should say Doug and Bob instead exactly. of Bob and so Doug. We do expect that separation to occur in about a minute from now, but they do wait until they have full confirmation that it is ready to separate. There was a Bob and Doug McKenzie on Saturday Night Live when I was uh, younger. Such cool views. I cannot get over this view that we are seeing right now. Bob and Doug on the right screen, inside of Crew Dragon, out in space. Yeah, already 200 kilometers over planet Earth, or a little over 124 miles, traveling in excess of 2,700 meters. 27,000 meters per second, or about 16,000 miles per hour. So again, we're just standing by. That separation event should be coming up shortly. Then they'll begin a series of checks on the Draco thrusters that are going to be used to maneuver and then power Dragon on its flight to the International Space Station. Standing by for separation. Expected loss of signal, walls. Sounds like we had an expected LOS loss of signal with one of the ground stations. Waiting for confirmation now of that signal. Dragon separation confirmed. Dragon separation and confirmed. <laughs> there is a great view right in front of you of Dragon separating. separating. Confirmed. And there's that call out. Dragon is now officially making its way to the International Space Station today. <laughs> Dragon SpaceX, with that separation call, uh, we have a few words for you from our Falcon 19. Standing by. Dragon, Chief Engineer on Dragon to Ground. Bob Doug, on behalf of the entire launch team, thanks for flying with Falcon 9 today. We hope you enjoyed the ride and wish you a great mission. Thanks, Bala. Congratulations to you and the F9 team for the first uh, human ride for Falcon 9 and it was incredible. Uh, appreciate all the hard work and uh, thanks for the great uh, ride to space. Copy all. Oh, I'd like to be proud of you guys and the rest of the team. Uh, thank you so much for what you've uh, done for us today, putting America back into low Earth orbit uh, from the Florida coast. Copy all. Good luck. Godspeed. All right. That was a good launch. On the way to the space station. All right, Cardano fans. Right, so that's going to be us coming up. Y'all take care. Have a great day. Thanks for watching Digital Fortress. Thanks for watching the launch with me. It was a lot of fun. Take care. Bye-bye. Copy all. We're monitoring.